You can't always uncover the full origin of an archaeological artifact or object just by looking at it. And sometimes, even after investigating it and piecing together the historical clues, the bigger picture still doesn't fall into place. When that's the case, what you've got is a full-blown enigma. Here are on top five. We're fascinated by those, and we know you are too. So let's take a look at some of the strangest and weirdest objects that science still hasn't managed to make sense of. Number 15. Visigothic Sarcophagus in Mercia Back in 2021, archaeologists working in Mercia found a rare sarcophagus from the Visigothic period, remarkably preserved and hand-carved. Found within the ruins of what was once a Roman villa, the sarcophagus lay inside a necropolis that replaced the former estate. Scholars estimate that it dates back to the 6th century based on the decorative style etched across its surface. The most unique feature is the Chi Rose symbol placed where the head of the deceased would have rested. Originally introduced into Roman iconography by Emperor Constantine, the emblem became a Christian symbol of triumph over death. While typically used for high-ranking figures, this sarcophagus doesn't seem tied to imperial or military elites, making the symbol's presence puzzling. The villa itself may have shifted roles over time, from private residence to olive oil production site and eventually to a burial ground but no one knows the actual truth. Number 14. The Stone Spheres of Ohio This scientific riddle doesn't belong to a single location. We mean it's global. These are the strange stone spheres, found in so many places that locals often walk right past them without a second glance. That's even true of the sphere lodged six feet high in a wall at Shale Hollow Park in Ohio. The state is especially dense with these spheres, which range in diameter from a few inches to several feet, but most resemble the size of a cannonball. Scientists officially categorize them as carbonate concretions, though the exact process behind their growth and formation remains unsettled. The cores are usually dolomite or limestone, encased in layers of shale that push outward as the spheres grow. The process is somewhat like how an oyster forms a pearl. Even with hundreds of examples in Ohio and thousands more across the planet, geologists still can't say exactly how or why they form, or why they're always round. Number 13. Bronze Age Pig Figurines in Poland We may never know the real reason why ancient artisans carved these beautiful little pig figurines but they remain one of the most unusual finds from Poland's Bronze Age. We mean, just look at these cuties. Discovered back in August 2020 in Moscovich, each figurine is about an inch long but so finely detailed that even features like snouts and nipples were carefully shaped. They date back roughly 3,500 years and are the first of their kind uncovered in the country. Small differences in the carvings suggest that at least two individuals were involved in their creation. The site itself was once enclosed by a stone wall, a rare architectural feature in Polish prehistory. While their purpose is completely unknown, theories range from ritual objects to toys made for children. Whatever the reason, the effort and care poured into something so small reveal a culture that valued both craft and creativity. These tiny pigs, though miniature, carry enormous archaeological significance through their precision and mystery. Number 12. The Living Stones of Romania Well, you don't need a science degree to know that rocks and boulders aren't living things, and if they're not alive, they shouldn't be able to grow. Yet the so-called living stones of Trovance in Kostesht and Esht, Romania, seem to increase in size with each passing year. These formations are sandstone concretions capable of producing a type of natural cement. Their inner cores are solid stone, but the outer layers consist of sandstone. During periods of heavy rainfall, new layers form along the outer shell, causing them to gradually expand. 
Since 2004, these growing stones have been gathered in one site known as the Trovance Museum Natural Reserve, both for closer scientific observation and preservation. Unsurprisingly, locals who've lived around these rocks for generations view them as living beings with mystical qualities. Science may offer a more rational explanation, but even now, many remain unconvinced. If experts fully understood them, they wouldn't still be studying them so intently. Number 11. Colima Stone Map Archaeologists in Colima State have recently added an intricately carved stone to the National Register of Protected Monuments. It's believed to serve as a prehistoric map. The stone itself is volcanic, likely ejected by the Fuego de Colima volcano 2,000 years ago. The actual carvings, however, are thought to date back about 2,100 years. Engraved channels appear to trace ancient waterways, and tiny depressions carved into the surface might suggest early settlements. Excavations have already uncovered signs of human activity in places that align with the carved indentations. Since the ancient inhabitants of this region had no written language, this map may have been a visual way to convey geography or stake territory. Critics argue the interpretation is speculative, suggesting researchers may be projecting meaning onto the lines. Still, the National Institute of Anthropology and History stands by the theory, declaring the artifact a cultural monument. Whether map or message, it clearly meant something crucial. Number 10. The Mysterious Dolmens of Marayur the Muniara dolmens, often called the Marayur dolmens due to their location, are counted among India's most significant prehistoric landmarks. These Neolithic burial sites stretch back at least 5,000 years. We mean possibly even earlier, according to some scholars. Each tomb is made of massive granite slabs arranged to form above-ground chambers, usually capped with a single stone. Their size and layout suggest they were built for important figures, which might explain their scarcity. But time hasn't been kind. Many now sit beside homes and new buildings, and the stones are slowly wearing down from exposure and lack of upkeep. Repeated pleas have been made to state officials for preservation funding, but none have materialized. Without intervention, this vital archaeological site may vanish altogether. And when these dolmens are gone, so too will the last physical traces of a people who left behind no written records. Only these solemn weathered tombs to speak of a long-lost culture's existence. Number 9. Babylonian Astronomy Tablet The ancient Babylonians were celebrated for their complex mathematics. But were they truly advanced enough to track Jupiter's path with accuracy? According to one clay tablet, yes. A 2016 reassessment of this cuneiform artifact revealed geometric formulas used to follow Jupiter's movements through the sky. Until then, experts assumed these techniques didn't emerge until the 14th century. But this tablet is over a thousand years old. It outlines more than position. It maps the links between time, distance, and velocity showing a deep grasp of astronomy and early geometry. This finding forced historians to question who really developed these concepts first. Compared to the Greeks, the Babylonians now appear to have reached similar insights much earlier. That single slab of clay challenged long-held beliefs. And how they achieved this knowledge, without telescopes or modern instruments, remains a mystery. But the tablet exists, and its markings tell a story that rewrites everything we thought we knew about ancient scientific understanding. Number 8. The Two-Faced Mochica Murals Now this one is incredible. Archaeologists have uncovered two 1,400-year-old murals portraying two-faced human figures inside a ceremonial hall from Peru's ancient Mochica civilization. These murals are vivid, detailed, and strange. One shows a man holding a goblet while hummingbirds drink from it, possibly referencing ritual sacrifice 
or what experts cautiously call cosmic realms, central to Mochica beliefs. Researchers believe the artists may have been playing with movement or dual perspectives in one image. The murals date between 550 and 800 CE, during the height of Mochica culture along Peru's coast. This was a civilization known for massive temples, sacrificial rites, and extraordinary art, especially ceramic goblets shaped like human heads. The two-faced figures might represent gods, though they seem mostly human, apart from their double visages. These murals were found in Panamarca, a site in the lower Nepeña Valley that's been under study for over 60 years, yet much of it remains untouched, leaving countless questions still buried beneath centuries of dust and silence. Number 7. Metternich Stela Ancient Egyptian wisdom often blurred the lines between healing and magic, and that balance is carved into the Metternich Stela, a monument from the 30th dynasty, created around 2300 years ago. Covered in beautifully detailed inscriptions, the stela holds both medical remedies and magical incantations. It was likely commissioned during the reign of Nectanebo Teku, Egypt's final native pharaoh, and possibly at his request. Historians believe a priest named Esadam compiled the contents after gathering knowledge in Heliopolis and deemed it worthy of eternal preservation. Among its many passages is a spell for treating venomous bites, and one for making snakes vomit, though the reason for that remains unclear. Over time, stories grew around the stone itself. Some even believe it carries healing powers for those who touch it. But the stela is now part of the Egyptian collection at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and while you can view it up close, it's strictly off-limits to touch. It's just mind-blowing. Number 6. Mysterious Apopka Sculptures Apopka, a quiet Florida town in Orange County, rarely made headlines for archaeology until 2005. That year, while fixing a burst water pipe in Highland Manor, city workers found something strange. Three massive statues of bare-chested women, each wearing elaborate jewelry and headdresses, holding ceremonial urns. Each statue weighed several hundred pounds. Nearby, they also discovered a carved stone head. From the start, it was obvious these pieces weren't native to the Americas. Unsure what to do? The local museum stored them outside for years, until 2015, when Alyssa Payton of the University of Florida's Harn Museum of Art visited. She identified the carvings as volcanic stone statues from East Java, Indonesia, over a thousand years old. Grateful for her findings, the museum transferred them to the Harn for proper care. But the biggest mystery still hangs in the air. How did ancient Southeast Asian sculptures end up buried under a patch of Florida soil halfway across the world? Number 5. The Venus of Dolni Vestonitz the Venus of Dolni Vestanis is widely regarded as the world's oldest known ceramic artifact. Dating back roughly 29,000 years, it was discovered in 1925 at a site near Brno in the Czech Republic. For nearly a century, scholars believed the figure had been shaped from multiple pieces of clay, fused during its construction. But in 2021, researchers used a 3D microscope at the FEI Technological Institute in Brno to confirm it was formed from a single clay mass. Analysis revealed charcoal, bone fragments, and even bits of mammoth ivory mixed into the clay, likely unintentionally collected during gathering. The figurine also features four tiny holes atop its head, supporting a long-standing theory that it once wore a feathered headdress. The Venus isn't just a display of prehistoric craftsmanship, it also holds anthropological weight. Its layered composition and detail offer insight into artistic intent and material use during the Upper Paleolithic. This figurine remains a remarkable prehistoric enigma. All right now, Let's move to number four, the Berkeley Mystery Walls. The only clear fact about the so-called Berkeley Mystery Walls near Fremont 
is that they weren't built by Spanish colonists. Beyond that, nearly everything else about them remains unknown. Archaeologists and historians have studied them for more than a century, yet their origins are still unresolved. Whoever built them committed to an enormous undertaking. These walls stretch nearly 50 miles across the East Bay Hills, from Berkeley to the outskirts of San Jose. Some rise as high as five feet, and many of the stones used weigh more than a ton. Several sections cut through steep, rugged terrain. They're not tall enough to function as enclosures, and the frequent gaps rule out any defensive purpose. Even ignoring those breaks, researchers see no reason a defensive wall would have been needed here. Near Mount Diablo, the wall intersects with a prehistoric stone circle and coils around a massive boulder. So, do you have any idea about it? Number 3. Bulgaria's Golden Cross Bulgarian Archaeologists sparked major attention in 2018 with the discovery of a golden cross. Some experts immediately labeled it the oldest golden crucifix ever uncovered and even suggested it contained fragments of the true cross, the wooden beam believed to have held Jesus during the crucifixion. The find occurred at the ruins of Trapezitsa Fortress in Tarnovo, once the capital of the Second Bulgarian Empire. The cross was located beneath an altar pillar within the remains of the fortress church. Its great condition and material raised eyebrows, since most crucifixes from that era were made of iron or bronze, not solid gold. It is also hollow, containing wooden splinters inside, and bears an engraved crucifixion scene. Whether that wood came from Christ's cross is impossible to prove. Still, the object's symbolism and rare construction make it a striking relic. Like many sacred artifacts, its deepest truth may rest more in belief than evidence. Number 2. The Gundestrup Cauldron The Gundestrup Cauldron is astonishing not only for its age but for its sheer craftsmanship. Dated to roughly 2200 years ago, it's the largest known example of Iron Age silverwork in Europe. Measuring 27 inches across and 17 inches tall, it was discovered in fragments inside a peat bog near Gundestrup, Denmark, in 1891. It has since been reconstructed and is displayed at the National Museum of Denmark in Copenhagen. Each panel is repoussé work, hammered from behind to raise the figures, and finished with gilding and glass inlays for the eyes. The imagery blends Near Eastern influences with Celtic mythology, raising questions about its true origin. Although found in Scandinavia, many scholars believe the craftsmanship was Thracian or Gallic, not Nordic. The scenes depict horned gods, warriors, and animals, though their meaning is still debated. Nothing else from the period truly compares. Whether ceremonial or political, it's a mystery. Number 1. Shanren Cave Pottery Back in June 2012, archaeologists working in southern China confirmed they had uncovered the oldest pottery ever identified. These clay vessels are estimated to be around 20,000 years old. That places them roughly 10,000 years before humans began farming and settling permanently, and suggests pottery emerged during the final stretch of the Ice Age. Before this discovery, most scholars believed that agriculture and ceramics developed together. The question remains, why would nomadic hunter-gatherers need clay containers at all? The answer is still uncertain, though burn marks on several fragments suggest they were used for cooking. The remains were found inside Jianren Cave, located in China's Hunan province. Experts still haven't determined how the vessels were formed, as they don't match known ceramic techniques. Their presence hints that the people living in this cave may have been more advanced than others in the region. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.